Welcome to Python programming introduction. Python is a high level programming language which is object oriented, dynamic and strongly typed and easy to understand. Our CPU understands machine language which is in a form of binary that is 0 and 1 and us human understand English language which are also high level programming language written in English form easy to understand by us. This high level programming language is converted into a machine language which are help with the help of an interpreter as in the case of Python. An interpreter reads the source code of the program written by the programmer, passes the source code and interprets the instruction on the go. When we write a single sentence and run it, that kind of environment is called Python interactive. This is the example or how this python interpreter works we have a source code which is interpreted with the help of an interpreter and there is an output python is a strongly and dynamically typed language dynamic means at runtime it is determined that what type of variable it is for example if it is an integer or a string or a float value and strongly types means that variable is associated with some data type and type matters when performing some operation. Python is object oriented language and thus ob everything is object in Python as every entity has some attributes and or methods. Here in this a is equal to 10 where a is a variable taken with a value 10 and at runtime, the interpreter determines that this is an integer class. Type uh, is a function which tells that what type of uh, at what type of data type or what type of class thus this variable belongs to. So the here the answer is class of integer. So, a uh, Python language consists of tokens. Tokens are the smallest, uh, smallest unit of a code in a programming language, which has keyword, variable, or identifier, literals, or operators. So, we have a keywords, which are words that are predefined by the interpreter, and each word has a specific meaning. For example, print, while, true, break, continue, etc. Keywords are case sensitive. Then we have variable or identifier. Variable is a name given to a to find a variable, class and function. Variable is a container at which, which contains value of data. So we have an example here. These different boxes are the different type of variables which contains data. So we can see that this, this jug contains one type of a data and this jug contains one type of a data and an identifier is associated with that variable. So if we print A, so uh, the output will be 10. Here print is a keyword which is case sensitive where P starts with a small case P. And integer 10 is associated with variable A, which is identified by A. So there are rules for variable name, which can't start with a number, can be alphanumeric, can be of any length, and can start with upper or lower case, can start with an underscore, and it cannot be a keywords. Literals, these are the number of string or character directly in a program. Literals has a value which can be integer or a string which is identified by a type. So a is equal to 10 where a is a variable and 10 is a literal which belongs to integer class. Then we have operators in Python. So operators are the symbol which use a perform mathematical operator. For example, we, the operators are broadly divided into four categories in Python. 
arithmetic operator, relation operator, logical operator and bitwise operator. So, arithmetical, arithmetic operators contain some mathematical operations on operands like Sub, uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, flow division, modulus, and exponent. So, addition is addition of two values, subtraction is subtraction of two value, division, division of two value, flow division gives, uh, here this is example of flow division, A divided by B, which gives the quotient as the output. Then we have modulus, which gives remainder as the output. And exponents means the power. So if we write uh, 2 star star 3, the output will be 8. So 2 star star 3, if we run this, this will output will be 8, which means 2 raised to power 3, which is 8. Then we have relational operators. It defines relation between two entities which can be greater than, less than, equal to, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to and not equal to. So if we have, so I'll show you the example. If P is equal to 3 and Q is equal to 6. We will run this. So if we write Q greater than P, the answer will be true. If we write P greater than Q, the answer will be false because the relation between 3 and 6 is 3 is not greater than 6. So the answer will be false. If we write P equal to equal to Q, the answer will be false because 3 does not equal to Q. Then we have logical operators. It is used in conditional statements and return either true or false, which are and, not, and or. So, this is the example of, I'll show you the example. So, P is equal to 3, Q is equal to 5, and R is equal to 2. So, if we write, if we write P greater than Q, and P less than R. So the answer will be, okay, there should be a space. So you can see the change of color. The and is in green color, which means and is a keyword. So keyword always have a different color. So the answer is false because P is, uh, P, the value of P is 4, the value of Q is 5. So, P is not greater than Q, which is false. And P is 4 and Q, uh, R is 2. Here, P is not less than 2. So, false and false is false. So, therefore, the answer is false here. Bitwise operators. Bitwise operators performs on the bit of the integer. We have four types of bitwise operator, not, and, or, and XOR. So how does it work is it works on the bit of your integer. So if we perform the bitwise not, so A is equal to 8 and shift enter negation. So this symbol is used. Negation A, the answer will be minus 9. Minus 9 because when we are calculating it on our own, uh, we will be calculating it as minus, then a bracket. So, 8 in form of uh, binary form is 1, 0, 0, 0 and there will be plus 1. So, the this will be 1, double 0, 1. So, if we perform this, so... If we calculate this, the answer will be 1001 and 1001 is 9 in integer. So, it will be minus 9. Then we have bitwise and the symbol for bitwise and is the ampersand sign 
So in other languages, we use and and when we are doing relational operation, but in Python, we write and when we are using as a relational operation, relation and op logical operation. So the and is sorry, the and is simple uh, symbolized as the bitwise and this ampersand is bitwise and. So if we take b is equal to 25. So, so in bitwise and if we do a and b, the answer will be 8 because here so uh, we write a in uh, sorry 8 in the form of a binary will be 1 0 0 0 and 25 in the form of binary will be 16 plus 8 plus 1. Let me add one more zero. So, one, zero and one is one, uh, sorry, zero and one is zero. One and one is one. Zero, zero is zero. Zero, zero is zero. And zero and one is one. When we write it is in a form of a, sorry, zero and one is zero. When we write it in a form of a two table. So, if we convert this zero, one, triple zero into an integer, this will be 8. Then we have, then we have OR. So OR, bitwise OR is denoted with a straight line. So A OR B, bitwise OR, A bitwise OR B will be 25. Let me calculate it for you. So 25 will be 1, uh, sorry, 8 will be 1, triple 0 and 20 with a 0 and uh, 25 will be 1 1 0 0 and a 1 so when we calculate it 1 and 0 is 1 1 and 1 is sorry 1 or 0 is 1 1 or 1 is 1 1 0 or 0 is 0 0 or 0 is 0 and 1 or 0 is 1 so this is the binary of 25 therefore the answer is 25.